Welcome to Constructs in 5, where I teach you to make a game in 5 minutes. This week, the Google Dinosaur game. Start with a new project, give it a name, and hit Create. I'm going to right click, View, and zoom out. And we're just going to be working in the dotted lines, which is our camera. You can start by creating 4 sprites really, really quickly, so insert a new object. We create our player. Import an object or create our own. And then hit the X and scale them down. We're then going to create our roads, our cactus, and a red block, which we'll do something with a little bit later. the road I'm just going to get a grey block place that down and make it cover all of the bottom of the screen like so up to about this point and place my dinosaur flat on it final block is going to be a spawn out Move your cactus to a starting position, just slightly on the screen. And the final thing we're going to add is just a little bit of text to show our score. And resize that to make it a little bit bigger and easier to see. Right, now we can move on to our behaviors. So the first behavior that we want is on our player. We're going to edit, add new behavior, and we want to make sure that we're adding platform behavior. On the properties, we just need to adjust a couple of things. First one is our max speed set to zero to stop our player moving left and right. And the second one we want to do is jump sustain 200. This means if we hold down our jump key, we'll be able to stay higher in the air for a bit longer and a bit of strategy. We're then going to go to our cactus, right click, edit behaviors, and we're going to add the eight direction behavior. And we need to make sure that we are turning off default controls and angle needs to be set to no. Finally, we're going to take our road, edit behaviors, add new behavior, and add the solid behavior. That's all set up. Let's go to our bench sheet. So first thing we're going to do is add a global variable, call it score, and set it to zero. Then add a new event under system. Now have a counter to test our score. Now our score is just going to go up, and instead of doing it every second, we're going to make it go up every 0 0.0 seconds or 0 0.1 seconds. Just going to add 10 points to the score. This will make our score reflect closer to what we would expect to find on the actual Google game. It's going to just count it as a timer. Next events, we're going to add a new one, and we're going to do system, and we're going to do our X event again. This one's going to be random between zero and four, and every four seconds, we're going to grab our spawner. We get to spawn a new object, and this is going to be our cactus. Talking of our cactus, we need to get it to move. So we're going to say every tick, cactus, simulate control, left. So making it move left every second, so it's always coming towards us. And then finally, we want to say if player, so overlapping number object, our cactus. We want to do a couple of things. First of all, we want to destroy our player. So we'll go down to player and destroy. We're also going to wait two seconds just so we've got a bit of wait time so we know that we've died so we get a bit of downtime before we start again. Go to system, reset global variables to reset our scoreboard and then system, scroll right down to restart layout. 
And with all that set up, we're now ready to go. So hit play. You'll see that the images come towards us. Oh, and we've not done our scoreboard. So final check on this one here, we're going to add action. We're going to go to our score. Set text and make it equal to score. Second test, we're going to run it. With our scoreboard going up, we can jump, we can hold down for a bigger jump. And if you're any better than me, you're going to survive a little bit longer. And you see each time it is completely random on how many cactus spawn. And we can just see how far we can go. Play around the settings, try for yourself and have fun.